best friends, Gerald and Jean, were watching their favorite TV show, Yucky Science, when star presenter Dr. Dirk Spanflex made a special announcement. I'm launching a competition, Gloop Quest, to see who can make the world's most disgusting gloop. Gerald and Jean set to work making their gloop. False teeth. Squirtle droppings. Toenail clippings. 50-year-old broccoli juice. But just at the crucial point in the mix, a bolt of lightning struck the dead. And... Fleabag Monkey Face was created. He was the grossest, smelliest, most disgusting creature they had ever seen. He was fantastic! But little did they know, Dr. Spamflex and his lust for more and more viewers had gone evil. He was intent on being the biggest thing on TV, and he knew just how to do it. I created the grossest monster in the world ever! When this appears on my TV show, I will be huge! <laughs> But the boys of Fleabag Monkey Face had other ideas. <laughs> Using his unique gross-out powers, <laughs> Fleabag defeated Armageddon and saved the city. With his career in tatters, Dirk Spanflex was banished from our screens. As a reward, Fleabag, Gerald and Jean took over the running of Dr. Spanflex's TV program and renamed it Gross Out TV. <laughs> Dr. Spanflex retreated to his top secret tower, his every waking minute haunted by one thing and one thing only. I want my TV show back! <laughs> <laughs>